Hi there, yeah, here we are in Nam. Here's another one, right? Okay, this year it's a bit a bit later than usual, but finally we got it back. That's a good thing. Okay, my name's Terry Reed. I've been here a few times, so that's an understatement. And uh, one of the main reasons I'm here, though, is because of this guitar. Okay, there's uh, you know, every picture tells a story, as they say. And uh, the thing is with this guitar is a company approached me from Italy called Paoletti. And now a lot of, you see a lot of guitar makers here, like God bless, it's great. And it's very difficult to make something, you know, out of the right wood and, and uh, how far do you go with pickups and everything. So this is a copy of a guitar I owned faithfully for, oh, I mean, it's, it's 1968. And this is a book that's with the guitar. And it shows you many plays. That's the original guitar. That's Glastonbury in 1971. That's Madison Square Gardens in 69. And that's the bitter end in New York in 68. So I wrote a book that went with the thing because I thought it was pretty interesting how these guitars, you know, take you all over the world, right, with the music. And uh, Pelletti said, let's make a render, a, a real good copy of what your original one was. I said, well, the only people that we could get to make the pickups that, that knows my original guitar is Seymour Duncan. So we got Seymour, who's a good friend of ours here. And uh, he said, yeah, he made the pickups for it. And it's really, I mean, they really got it down, you know. And also, there's a couple of features. I added in the back a brass block, which is a, helps with the tuning and sustain. It gives it a real rock sort of hardness to it, right? And other than that, it's basically a straight 52 Telecaster. There's a P90 in the top, gives it, because when I got mine, the, the lipstick pickup faded my original one. And a friend of mine at the time, Dan Armstrong, that you might be familiar, that built Dan Armstrong guitars, right? The plexiglass ones, right? So he was working at Manny's in New York, and he said to me, I don't always wanted to put a humbucking, a Gibson at the top. He said, no, I'm gonna have to cut a big hole in there. I went, you're gonna what? <laughs> Wait a second. He said, no, you're gonna love it. So this was, I think, the first one, because Bruce Springsteen used to love this guitar of mine, the one in the book, right? When he used to come in and play it like crazy, and next thing I know, Bruce has got one with a with a humbucking on, right? And I went, oh, right. So it became a whole thing of putting the humbucking along with a quarter pounder in the back. So it's great. So I, I sold the one to Joe. And now I've got a rendition of the exact same thing, which, which works real cool. So come round to see us over at the Paoletti booth, okay? Uh, right next to Seymour Duncan over there. And we'll get together and uh, we'll talk more about these guitars. They really are good.